Close your eyes for 10 seconds and think about what a rainforest means to you. If you're like me, it means wild animals and tropical plants. But for the indigenous people that I work with, these forests mean food. Now forest foods are cultural foods like deer, armadillo or wild fern and international law states that we need to recognize rights to cultural foods. But often, forest managers don't know how because the people who manage forests are rarely the people that rely on them. In fact, only recently have some policies even recognized the need to balance rights to food with the goal of protecting nature. So, are rainforest managers respecting rights to food? For my PhD, I went to Costa Rica to find out. I lived with the Bribri people in this United Nations biosphere. Biospheres are areas of land that are supposed to be managed to preserve biodiversity and culture. After eight months of living in the forest with my Bribri colleagues, here's what I found out. First, forest foods are important for health, identity, and teaching youth. And second, current laws are a threat to all of that. Let's look at hunting to find out why. To protect wild species, hunting is strictly controlled and in most cases banned in this biosphere by state law. These bans challenge people's access to health because hunting means you can enjoy nutritious food and you don't have to buy imported processed meat. But the impacts of hunting bans run deeper. They discriminate against people's ability to pass on their culture. You see, every time a child hunts or prepares a recipe, they learn and share cultural stories. Imagine a recipe that's been passed down in your family for generations. It's part of your identity. And suddenly, it was illegal to make that recipe forever. Now, my work took place in an isolated rainforest. Does my research have implications for people elsewhere? Absolutely. There are 350 million people who depend almost entirely on forests for their subsistence. That's about how many people live in Canada and the U.S. combined. And 80% of the forest people use are public, meaning the people who manage forests are not the people that rely on them. My work shows us we need to change this, and we need to start here, working with Indigenous people to guarantee access to adequate food, food that not only satisfies dietary needs, but that is culturally acceptable. Everyone has the right to adequate food. That's not just my opinion. That's international human rights law. Thank you.